All right, we're at the asylum, solo. I've also written some notes on the whiteboard if you need them. There's been no reports of violence or sightings, but please remain careful. Actually, maybe on professional, it might always say that because it's always like they don't know if they're in response to a, a loan and a group. Alan Robinson. Mm. Okay, so last time I played Asylum, I noticed that how the sanity didn't drain as fast as whenever you are with a group, which makes sense game wise, but which makes the Asylum much easier to actually navigate than as if you were in a group. So I think Asylum is actually a bit easier than if, as if you were in a group. Anyway, F for the last run. It was almost a perfect run. I'm not 100% sure if the dirty water should have been replaced by fingerprints because what I've heard is that it should be a Ouija board, bone, ghost, and seven fingerprints, and then that should be the perfect run with all the achievements. And I had, I think, six fingerprints and one dirty water, so might have been almost a perfect run. But then for some reason, uh, I don't think I got the money from it, but I was also wondering what if I died? You know, what if I died? And it wouldn't have any consequences, you know. <sighs> anyway, I really would have liked to see how much money I would have gotten out of that. But well, <sighs> c'est la vie. Okay, here's the thing. Um, first things first. Okay, the, the breaker is... Now I have to make sure I know where it is. Okay, so it's that the left. Okay, I will first go to the breaker. Because, you know, the rooms have to heat up. Okay, so here's the thing. If you bring a candle with you, your sanity will not drain as fast as if you would bring uh, no candle with you. Because that's the purpose of the candle. It will not, you will not drain your sanity that fast. So, uh, uh, no, I mean not that fast, except for um, ghost events, your sanity will not drain at all from the darkness. So basically, if you if this were amnesia, uh, I have to find the stairs down. If this were amnesia, um, I don't think the stairs are there. Where are the stairs? I can't remember where the stairs are. It's, but anyway, I, uh, sorry, I'm losing the train of thought. If this were amnesia, yeah. Candle will make sure that my the sanity will not drop while standing in darkness, which is great. I know I'm going the wrong way, but I know where the stairs are here, though. <laughs> so that's what the candle does. So it will not drain your sanity. So you can move around in the asylum or in places like the prison for a longer time. And your sanity will not drain until it goes out. The candle goes out after a while, unfortunately. But anyhow, it's good to have it while exploring large spaces. What also is smart is to actually look, because it, the ghost starts moving with doors. So that's the easiest way to uh, locate the ghost room, I think, is when the ghost starts moving, uh, opening doors, and you'll find a door that you haven't opened, and you know that the ghost opened it. Might not be the ghost room, but you know that he was there. I think breaker is somewhere around here. Okay, there were the stairs. Uh, I have to think uh, a bit about it. And in meanwhile, I'll just listen for, you know, sounds. No, I think it is there. Somewhere there. It's one of those bigger rooms. Ah, no, that's not a big room. Ah, neither is that. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought it was somewhere here though. Ah, this might be the room. Oh, it goes open like that. Ah uh, yeah, I, I believe it's 
here somewhere. Uh, yeah, got it. Good, now it will start gradually increasing the temperature, but I will have to wait for a couple of minutes. I just looked if there was a bone here. No bones to bananas here. Let's see. Yeah, you can't walk. Yeah, it's still like really cold everywhere, so. I haven't heard anything yet. So. Let's go back to the middle. Yeah, see, eventually it goes out. But you can reignite it again. Let's see, yeah, the temperatures are way low still. Way too low to determine anything. But it's gonna take a while. First things first, I'm gonna check the right wing first for some reason. I've, I haven't heard anything there, so I think I should check out the right wing first. I'm just catch checking for the bones. I'll leave it to cool, uh, to cool to warm up a bit. Okay, so my sound is still good. Let's look around a bit. See if I find some. Where is this? Might it be me turning on the light. You can also see ghost orbs from here, you know. So. <laughs> it's lucky if you get one, but still. <laughs> okay, it should start to light up. Uh, no, wait. Oh. All right. I actually think I should take the the right route for some reason. Why? Because, like I said, earlier I didn't hear, hear a thing in that room. Yeah, I think the climate is still uh, accustoming. So, climate control, I guess. Ah, uh, no, you, you've got to be shitting me. What a prankster. <sighs> I'll have to go back. Oh no, that sucks. Did I open this? Yeah, I did. Because the temperatures will be dropping now again. Which is not good. Um, to the left. Did I open that? Yeah, I think I opened that door myself as well. <laughs> Alright, just don't do that again, please. Because it's really annoying. <laughs> Now it's the warm up again. Ay, 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 ay. I'm 
I'm gonna check out the lower place. A lower place, the. Yeah, yeah, I, I will not be able to get some good readings out of this one. Just yet. So basically, I'm gonna see if there are any doors that have opened since. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I opened this. I don't know, man. What's up with this place here? Six, yeah, it's still not reliable. <clears throat> but it's no problem for a pro, I guess. <laughs> I really don't know. We are almost getting somewhere. I have my suspicion about that room, honestly. That room earlier. Wait. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. Oh uh, yeah. I guess now we finally getting somewhere. Yeah, now it's starting to become more reliable. Just don't do that again, please. Just don't want to go all the way back again, please. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, this is like... The other stairs. It's tough to get a perfect game in this asylum because you know, where the hell is the bomb? Where the hell is the Ouija board? <laughs> You'll never know. Finally things have started to warm up. Which is very nice. Haven't heard a shite yet. <laughs> Start to think that the whole uh, narrator saying, hey, I don't know if the ghost is... See, that's what I mean. I bet you. I bet you this is the room. Yeah. Yep, okay, I found it. Alright, good news. I'm a happy boy. Now I just have to limp back to the... <laughs> uh, to the truck. Get my gear. EMF reader is always first. I mean, unless it's a revenant. 
outrunning <laughs> ghosts in this asylum is easy. Easy peasy. I don't... Uh, like... Yeah, on professional they can hunt the longest. I don't think uh, it takes even longer to get from the one side to the other side than that, you know? Um, Ellen Robinson. Okay, well, I'll deal with that a bit later. I'll do this one and this one first. Alright. Now the march to go back. All the way back. So yeah, I guess that is how you find the ghost room the quickest. In the asylum. Just look for a door that you haven't touched and it's already open. And the lights are maybe already on. Quite a walk from yeah the place. All right then, Helen. Hello. How do you do? Can you uh, give me a sign? Can you give us a sign? Or give us a sign. Why do I always start to say can and please? I don't know. Manifest yourself, Helen. Is that you, Helen? There, on the wall. Give us a sign. Who's that? Smokey. For some reason there's Smokey there. Okay. Yeet. Oh, I have to start bringing up other stuff. Ah. Uh. So far, I mean, even in the beginning, most ghosts are kind of act active. This one seems to be somewhat less active. Yeah, I just wish you could run faster. But then again, it's kind of like tense to run so slow. <laughs> but anyway, it's like the run, ghost run far, except for the revenant. <laughs> so they kind of like run a little bit slower than you. Just a little bit. So I'm not sure which camera corresponds to that corridor, but I don't care. Alright, I want the beatbox. Where are you? How old are you? Why is the beatbox always broken, man? F. I mean, I do test in the beginning. If they hear you and you say, Ah, oh, yeah, we hear you, mister. Good. I think my scent is still fine, it should be. Lights on any everywhere, so... <laughs> oh boy, the walk. It's like a marathon here. How am I going? Of course. Of 
course. I'm gonna place this. Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Helen, can you manifest yourself? Give us a sign. Oh well. Okay. Spare box. Give us a sign. Helen, are you here? That's a sign. What is it doing? Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, okay, I know it's your old. Whatever. Obasan or Ojisan. the walk pack. <laughs> I do kind of want to turn on the <laughs> breaker again. It's such a long walk. Oh. I might have... should have... Ma nah. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Could have made, uh, made a picture of the door. To see if it had fingerprints. But I can always bring the fingerprint thingy with me. Alright, what is my sanity? Okay. Time to take my first pills. Because I don't feel that. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's placed pretty well. Hmm. I'm gonna staff for it at a while. It's sometimes not that easy to see. As seen in previous episodes, where I just saw the orbs at the last moment. I wanted to say it's a spirit because I didn't see the orbs. And writing in the book is kind of like a random event. But then at the end, orbs. But so far, I don't see orbs. Uh No. Email freedom motion sensor, okay, well um let's bring this with us. Yeah. I do kinda want to put the breaker on again, but it's such a far distance to walk. Okay, let's do it one more time, and if it gets shut off quickly, then I'll just leave that be. Because that will be, like, so annoying. Because <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass to just walk from the one side to the other side. Alright, here we go. And then I just walk to the complete other side. But at least it's a straight line. A 
luckily for me, I'm very good with maps. So I usually don't get lost. <laughs> probably probably not that already. I will reposition the camera again. Because you do need to reposition it once in a while. And I had the lights on down the other side of the corridor. Why are they off? Mm, good question. Oh wait, yeah, that's because that is in the way. Of course. Of course. I always forget that there's also like this m middle piece, I would call it. Yeah. On the... in the uh, basement. Almost there, I think. Let's shoot for fingerprints. I think it's... no, it's far more far. It's further, it's further. Okay. Ditch down the slide. So no, I already checked here. So okay, right in the book. Oh. Thank you. Gee, Jesus Christ, that was. One audio cue I haven't seen yet, I haven't heard yet, and it got the <laughs> the scared the hell out of me. Hey, it wrote. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, that sound I never heard before. Right, now I can just close. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Those events always get me. I think, in a way, these kind of things are scarier than amnesia. <laughs> because. If you have, pro you probably noticed it that I praise like the usage of sound very highly in Amnesia. For example, in Madhouse uh, Two, they use several times like audio cues to you know give a scare, and I really, really praise that because it usually not the visuals are scary for me. But the noises and the sounds, the ambience, that is what makes the atmosphere. God damn, that thing almost gets me every time. And when it goes, it's like, ah! And then, usually, closes down. I am not the ghost event. It closes the, uh, the lights as well with it. Alright. Motion sensor. Okay, so all right. First things first. I don't see ghost orbs. Maybe I should shut down the lights outside there as well. I don't know. So what did we have? We had another evidence, right? We are writing, writing, writing. We have a spirit, a demon, or an oni. Oni John. Okay, so. If it's only, you might have level 5. If it's a demon, freezing temperatures, no. Spirit. <laughs> fingerprints. I haven't seen fingerprints, so it might be an Oni. Because the demon is freezing temps. 
EMF level 5. Okay. I mean, obviously, freezing temperatures is not it, so it's not demon, so it's only a spirit. I don't see options yet. But then again, maybe I should reposition the camera. Maybe he's not here, maybe he's not home at all. Who knows? Alright, time to put this cap in the. As well. <laughs> it's a kind of like a large room, so motion sensor might be a bit diff tough to place. But uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place it under the light switch because it seemed to like to fiddle diddle with the lights. At least turn it off once. <laughs> so yeah, if it's an on it should be EMF level five. Yeah. I see the purple from my uh, fingerprints. So basically fingerprints is not it, right? No. No, you die. Duh. All right. I should cover this room efficiently. Like. Okay. I got it. That should be interaction, right? Why is that not an interaction? Should count as an interaction, I think, because it opens the door. I'll close. What's the name again? Can you manifest yourself? Can you show yourself? Like, why are these not interactions? The, it's meddling with the lights. I don't understand. It should be interactions. Party pooper. I swear to God. But maybe it doesn't count anymore as interaction? <coughs> anyway, I already fucked up the whole picture book, so... Just want a photo of the ghost and get the hell out of there. Oh yeah, that's EMF level 5, so it's an Oni. <coughs> so yeah, I don't have to be afraid of the ghosts being faster than me which is great oh sorry I was checking something okay I got everything so I just want to both of the ghost, and that would be that. Not a crucifix with me. Zero's my sanity. 76 is okay. I'm not 100% sure if these crucifixes will um, spread through the whole area, but we shall see. It's like 3 meters, not 5 meters. If it was a bench, it was 5 meters, but now it's 3 meters. I'm not 100% sure if 3 meters is that big, honestly. 
It's kind of weird to visualize three meters in a game like this. But mentally, if you hear three meters, you think, ah, that's not that large, you know, the radius. Ah, he's doing shenanigans again. It's a bit further. Name is Patricia, right? I don't know. God. Somewhat like that. Old, okay. Can you manifest yourself? Can you show yourself? Patricia! Well, he's really talkative. Oh, she is really talkative. Excuse me. Can you manifest yourself? Can you show yourself? Give me a sign. Give us a sign. Shut the fuck up. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a sign. Manifest yourself. You know what? I am a fool. I should have looked for the name. I'm gonna do now. And then I can return and don't leave without a picture. Unless it's gonna be really annoying and gonna be here for an hour. Ah, I doubt it because, you know. Eventually, the sent will be really low. I don't know if foot salt would do anything. Maybe, just for fun. I don't know. Honestly, in a way, actually, the spirit box tells you, kind of, if... The ghost is close. <laughs> Alrighty then. I could bring salt. I mean, uh, there's always a spot for more. For one more. Yeah. I can get some uh, footprints. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, oh, why do I always forget that? Well, actually, I am happy I remembered it now. What's your name? Helen Robinson. Why were Patricia was last, yeah. Helen Hel Helen Robinson. Okay. The name Helen Robinson, yeah. I the name got stuck from a previous run. Already done. <clears throat> so yeah, in the end, I think Asylum alone is actually easier than if you go to a small house alone or if you play Asylum together. That's uh, my two cents. All right. All right, Helen Robinson. Can you manifest yourself, Helen Robinson?
think she walked through it. I don't know. Oh yeah, footsteps. See, I got it. Helen Robinson, can you manifest yourself? Can you show yourself? Helen Robinson, can you manifest yourself? Small. Okay, let's go. <laughs> small. And you said you were old. You're small. Hunt, hunt, kill me, kill me, kill me. I, I have crucifix stairs. Uh, back up. Kill me, hunt, hunt. Uh, whatever. Okay, I'm done. Yay, not much, but like, oh my god. Last run uh, went so well. I had so much evidence in the picture book. And then. For some reason, I didn't get my money. But if I died, would it have meant that I still kept my inventory? Maybe. All right, easy peasy. Wait, uh, did I do the book? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There we are. Two hundred ninety-five. Still good. We don't have bones, but it's still it's still nice. Anyway, this was Phasmophobia. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this game. I know that most people don't like to watch this, but I really enjoy it. Anyway, if you actually want to join me in the game, don't don't be afraid to ask. And I also hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.